Greetings WordPressers, Jackson here. In today's show, we are gonna talk about site migration. So if you've got a WordPress site in one place and you wanna move it to a different place, I'm gonna show you how with a plugin and it's gonna take you about 10 minutes. So when you're migrating a WordPress website from one server to another server, there is only one option and that it really is a plugin. Do not try and do it with moving files and updating databases. It's painful. So there's tons of plugins on the WordPress repo. I've been through most of them and a whole bunch of the paid for versions and they all pretty much do the same thing. But there's one that I keep coming back to on the repo, which is the duplicator plugin. It just seems to work all the time and the deployment is a piece of cake. So let's get on with the tutorial, how you can move your website from one host to another in about 10 minutes. So here I've got the site that I want to migrate to my new server. Um, it is the hands template from Archento theme. Yes, that was genuinely a plug. Um, so what we need to do first is get to the back end and get to plugins, add new and go find the duplicator plugin. Duplicator. And it should be the first one that comes up. Pretty popular, 800,000 uh, downloads. Let's install that now. And let's click the activate button to get that sucker ready to roll. And there we go, we're activated. And you will see a new menu item called Duplicator. The first thing you wanna do is just click on it and you will be taken to the packages page. And this is, a pre, this is where we'd list the previous duplications, backups, whatever you wanna call them. That's where they'd be listed. We don't have any, obviously. It's brand new install of the plugin. So if we click create new, first stage, number one of is the setup and it just does a quick little review of your site and just checks that it passes a few of the requirements for the plugin to work we click the next and we go on to part two and now it's going to scan the site and it's going to check for another few things and give you a report to say if we're good to go or not now we've got one warning here and that's just because there's some a large file but we can show the past to see what it was and we can just actually see that it's just a few plugins that come bundled with the theme that we're using cento theme so no problem there the total size of the package this is the thing that you're going to use to build put your new website together with is cool and so we can now go ahead and click that we're okay with the warning statuses and click build and now the duplicator plugin will build us our little deployment package so that might take a few minutes depending on how big the package is and once it's done you will get a status uh hopefully with a big green tick in it and two buttons now one is the archive which is this fella here and one is the installer and you need both to get your website onto your new server so we're gonna down look we're gonna click the buttons to download both of them. We're gonna click the installer and we'll save save that to our desktop. Click the archive and save that to our desktop too. Okay, next up we're gonna to need to upload these to our folder or website with our FTP client. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So we're gonna to go to file FileZilla. This is free on Mac and PC. And we're gonna get our FTP details that I know you've already got ready. And we're going to start pasting them in to our, create our connection. So username goes in there. Um, we'll get our password. Like, so Yeah, let's take that space off. Let's put our password up there. It's be port 21. And the host is our address, server address there. So we'll go quick connect and you'll get some activity files that are seeing what's going on and we are connected so i've already it's already highlighted my desktop it might not automatically be there for you but just go and find it in this file list here and we see that we have got a need to refresh so we'll just go refresh there we go so here's our 
zip file 55 and here's our installer so we're just going to highlight both of those right click and start the upload and that's just going to be whizzing away there obviously depending on your internet speed and the size of your package will depend on how long this uh, process will take whizzing along there almost there so now we go back to our front end and get a new tab open and we need to go to the folder or the web address of our where we just put our zip file and installer and that would be on this subdomain that I created for the purpose and if we hit that URL because it's empty this server gives us this 403 message but what we're looking for is the install installer.php script that we also put up there and here we go this is the duplicator installer script that's going to run and unpack our zip file and hopefully create our website in just a few minutes so step one is the deploy section and we need to put in the information about the database so if you go get your database information I've got mine here just hide that and we need the database name the host should all, is more than likely going to be local host now there are a few hosting setups where they may give you an IP address it's rare but it's possible just check with your uh, your hosting service so the name of the database is that the user is Let's get that J in there as well. And the password is that crazy password. And then once we get the stuff in, test the connection. We have success. Everything's green. Okay, so let's check out what we have to do next. There's some warnings and notices and disclaimers and that sort of thing. And you should, you know, have a read through of them. But once you have and you're totally happy, with everything you can click that I have read all warnings and notices and we can run the deployment we'll get a final warning and we just got to press OK and let it do its thing so duplicator is, is whizzing around in the background and it is giving us the information about the old website and the different paths and the new website and the different paths and everything looks like it is looking correct so we click the run update and now duplicator again is going to show us a little report and all our notices are green so happy days and the next thing we've got to do is save the permalinks and this will open up a new tab give us the WP admin and let's log in and it will automatically take us to the permalinks page and we click save changes and that will just do its thing and reset those 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 links all correctly throughout all the the entire site you'll also see this warning or this this message that says um we got to delete the install uh, files that's really important because those will be accessible to anyone can kind of get to your, the root of your site. So click that link and just run through the different options here and just click them all one after the other. Okay, so that is pretty much it. We probably want to have a little test of the site. So let's go do that now. We'll just go duplicator and maybe let's get that in a new window and there we have it the site as it once was but on a completely different host but identical that is how you move your website from one server to another with ease we'll just have a quick flick through some of these pages all looking good It really is an awesome little plugin 
and it's free. So go ahead, give it a spin. Duplicator plugin, it's my go-to. So there you go, easy peasy site migration with the Duplicator plugin. But what's your favorite way of moving WordPress sites around? Do you have any uh, favorite plugins or tips or tricks that you would like to share with the channel? Get your comments in the below. And if you like what you've seen, please do go ahead and subscribe. But until next time, I'll see you later.